Today we are using Gigaton Hammer, Tinkaton. I'm so excited. Shout out to 3D for this team. This move is 160 base power. And, you know, I don't have the best attack stat, but I have good speed. So it's basically like a fast mall wall with good special defense. And it looks really good here. They might have double unaware, but I have mold breaker and I have Terra Blast Electric to break through Toxpex, Corviknight, Dondonzo, and Gigaton Hammer knocks out this. So this is actually a really decent matchup for me, I would say. Uh, we just gotta match up. We just gotta do well versus the great Tusk. Uh, I'm just gonna start off with Tinkaton. Shoot, I'm trying to win this game. They lead off a great Tusk. Not a big deal for me, as I can safely bring out my Godengo on whatever attack they want to go for. I have the Balloon, so I should be good. They end up bringing out Corviknight as well. Oh, okay, so that means they're slow. They switched out first. Uh, I switched out first, which means they're slow. Um, also, if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and also subscribe to the channel. I'm on my way to 400k, and I'm uploading these videos every single day. So this worked out great. I'm gonna get up Stealth Rock here as Clouds are. Goes for Toxic. That's fine. Uh, we'll bring out Godengo now. And uh, I wanted Rocks just to pressure Corviknight, basically. Nice. But what I'll do is I'll go Tinkaton now. Uh, Earthquake is going to hurt, but man, do I want to knock them out. All right, I'll bring this out. What I want to do is I want to SD in front of Corviknight. <laughs> Us switching a hundred times. It's fine. Now I can get out Tinkaton and SD because they cannot scald me. <laughs> Stop switching. <laughs> All right, one more, one more to Gigaton, one more to I know you're like, what the hell is happening, Joey? I can't get earthquaked by this thing, all right? Oh, good, the cancel didn't work, hell yeah. I'll take it. Easy KO on Toxapex, turn one, baby. Guys, turn, turn one, <laughs> turn nine. You gotta leave a like. You gotta leave a like for Young Tinkerton because it kind of just smashes them. Woo! Luckily, the, they switched too fast, so there was no cancel. I'm glad, I'm really glad. So Chiyu comes out. Uh, obviously, Dark Pulse is very, very scary. Um... I think I got to my own, to be honest. This might be Scarf. Tinkaton looks super good once again because they actually do not deal with it at all. So we got to Chiyu of our own. They Fire Blast. They're Specs. I'm going to Overheat and try and win a Speed Tide. Did not work out for me, unfortunately, but we can bring out Garchomp here. And I'm going to double out into my Tinkaton now. I'm going to double out to Tinkaton because obviously I can go for Earthquake and knock him out. Don Donzo comes out. Going to SD in their face. Hopefully they go Clodzire. And then I can knock it out with the... Uh... I don't think they knock me out with anything. And I can knock out this Pokemon. I want to knock out Clodzire with the Gigaton Hammer. I really, really, really want to. Yes! Okay, so even if they have Unaware, does not matter because of my Mold Breaker ability. Gigaton Hammer! 160 base power move before stab. Not counting life or boost. Get the hell out of my... Guys, if this doesn't get a thousand likes for the Gigaton Hammer Tinkaton, into forfeit. Uh, I mean... Whoops. Y'all gotta leave a like. Y'all gotta leave a like for this. I know there were a bunch of switches, but all of them, all of them were for this purpose. It was all for this purpose. Into lag, into no switch. Oh my god, the lag... I feel like a smash player with the lag switch SD. Woo! We'll be right back with another battle. Another game. Now, in this type of game, Tinkaton looks pretty good, too. Knock off Terra Blast, uh, Gigaton Hammer for Garganackle, and we usually lead Iron Bundle versus things with Glamora because we can taunt. We can taunt them, and then freeze dry. Bliss comes out. Gonna flip turn here into probably Garchomp just to get up Stealth Rock. And the great thing about Tinkaton is it actually blocks Gamora's um, spin. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we're going to Garchomp here and get up Stealth Rock. Maybe they Shadow Ball if they have it. I know some Bliss are running Shadow Ball. Yeah, get up our Stealth Rock there. I'm assuming Corviknight comes out, maybe. And I can block Defog by bringing out my Goldengo. Well, that's why they kept doubling <laughs> last time. I forgot. I know now that... I, I know it blocks Defog, but I always forget. So bring you out, which is fine. Blissey comes out. Uh, I'm assuming a Thunder Wave might come out, but I'll make the Garchomp play here. I don't want to get Thunder Waved. And uh, as long as I can block Defog and keep those rocks to, to break potential Sash on Glamora and go from there, I'll be good. I wish Tinkaton got Sucker Punch. Like, I have Knock Off so it could deal with Godengo, but if I had Sucker Punch for these two faster mods, it was a wrap. It was a straight up wrap. But yeah, we're scouting for uh, Thunder Wave as they go for Stealth Rock. And... 
Hmm. I feel like I'll go Tinkaton now. Corvi comes out. We're going to SD up. Maybe they'll try and beat me 1v1 with this thing. Which is what I kind of want, right? If this thing dies, then my Garchomp just clicks Earthquake versus their team. I'm very weak to Garganackle, though, so I got to be careful. But yeah, Scarf, Adamant, Garchomp, very, very strong in this game. Especially with Blissey being that weakened. I kind of hope they they Roost or Defog or honestly anything. Even though U-Turn is 100% what they're going for. Yeah. So Dragon Ball's going to come out and most likely go for Shadow Ball, which I don't really block very well. But I do have a Chi Yu. And Chi Yu is very, very, very strong. What I need to do is I need to double on Blissey and SD up on Corviknight. Kill Corviknight and then proceed to beat them via Scarf Adamant Earthquake. That's the game plan. Terrastalize Tinkaton, kill Corviknight. Even Dragon Dance Dragonite looks really good. Uh, Garganak, although, is a giant threat, but I do have Iron Bundle, which can taunt and stop it from being a demon. This is a good mon. I hope they think it's like Mawile and it has Sucker Punch. I really hope they think... I mean, look at it. It looks like it'd be... It literally looks like Mawile with a giant hammer. Right? Am I wrong? I feel like it looks... No, you know what it looks like? It looks like Toxapex that stood up. You see it, right? I'm not the only one who can see this. Y'all are looking at the same screen as me. Y'all have to be seeing this. Come on, Salmons. Salzman. Salzman. All right, we'll pause it. Oh, no, 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 no. They made a play. Oh, yeah. You think they're max speed? They probably are max speed, huh? I just want to get some hammer anyway. I'll take it. I'll take it. Pick up that KO there. They get the T-Spike up versus me, which is fine. I mean, it's all right. I don't think I can prevent that as much as I wanted to. Like, I still have good Pokemon in this game anyway. Gonna knock off here because I don't really switch versus this thing. Taunt Iron Bundle is still really good though. 421. Alright, we'll bring out you. I mean, Specs Overheat's free, isn't it? Into Bliss. It looks like it does a lot. Oh my god, 45. 45 is insane. Does this have a shot of killing? Nope. <laughs> Not in this world. 45 is actually insane though. 45 is actually insane. Still have a decent shot here, though. I think we still have a decent shot. Well, they do have Shadow Ball. I need to kill Bliss. I'm going to try to slice by and hit this Focus Blast. All right, we kill Blissey, which is really, really good because now we can get Dark Pulse. Uh, we can get Flamethrower kills and Dark Pulse kills whenever we bring out Armon. Whenever Chiyu comes out, we get a kill. Obviously, Dragapult gets to come out, though, and do its thing. And doubling around on Paul is going to be a little bit scary. Man, the Earth Power Glamora. I mean, I knew I had Earth Power. I run it with Earth Power too. It's a really good move. It helps you hit other Glamora as well. But yeah, at least we beat Blissey there. Dragapult comes out. Cannot really switch. Just gonna sack. I do have you with the Ice Spinner. I just need to guarantee I can get it. Let me let me go for Make It Rain just in case they randomly terrestrialize and do something crazy. The Shadow Ball there. I'll go, I'll go Chi Yu here. It shouldn't be able to kill me in one. And I should get a kill with Dark Pulse on something. Or two shot on Dark Pulse or something. Unless they terrestrialize Garganackle. But Dark Pulse would otherwise. If I can KO Dragapult, beautiful. Obviously, that's the only thing that naturally outspeeds my uh, Iron Bundle. And if they're modest, if they kill me now, they're modest. I think they're modest. But it's really hard to run Calcs in this metagame because there's not a damage Calc lab. I'm still hype about that first game. I'm on that first game high. I'm seriously on that first game high. Like it's it was so good. Oh, man. It was so good. Right, we'll pause it. So they gave me Corviknight, which is actually very important because now my earthquake has been freed up. So an earthquake, Adam an Earthquake knocks out Dragapult at the range of that. Knocks out Goldengo and I'm faster. And I mean it'll do a decent chunk to Garganackle, but it won't knock it out. But I can knock out Garganackle with Iron Bundle, I believe. So we're looking pretty decent. Plus I get to Dragon Dance up in front of Dragapult with my with my Dragonite. So that was a really big uh, turn for me, I feel. I feel like that was a really big turn. Am I adamant? I'm jolly. Yeah, nice. yeah that's such a huge turn. All right, so now we go Dragonite. We Dragon Dance up in front of them. 
because we'll live this hit, obviously. Um, we'll live every hit they go for. Assuming they go Garganaco, we need to weaken it, and then we can Earthquake sweep, ideally, with Garchomp. Obviously, my opponent can still Terrastalize. Best case is they Terrastalize right now, so that way they can't do anything else. Right, let's go for Earthquake, see how much this guy takes. I have not... I know this guy has insane stats. It's Donkey Kong. Flying is crazy. Hmm. I should still be okay, though, I think. I think Garchomp just wins. Salt Cure there. I'm trying to think what's the best play. I wanted to go out to Iron Bundle there, but I'm not sure if... I think I need damage on them in order to knock them out. You know what? It's fine. I'm not going to get damage on them anyway, right? Not by doing this. I'd recover if I were them. There's no reason not to. So let's go Iron Bundle. Save this as a sack. Pray it does enough. Like, this mod doesn't have great stats, but... Maybe... Maybe... Because I can save it as a sack for Goldengo and then force him to switch. But even Outrage wouldn't do anything at that point, right? Not the flying type. Just get a crit. I don't... I'm just trying to think, like, is that the best situation for me? Assuming Iron Bundle KOs him in one. Okay, so they always heal here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this anyway because they don't get enough. And I die. Perfect. So we go you. We freeze dry. Maybe they go Goldengo. But we freeze dry anyway. I needed to do enough. Clearly they have their max special defense or something like that because Ice Spin are doing that much at plus two versus plus four defense is crazy. It did nothing. All right. Well, we can't win this game. Salzman, Salzman named it after himself and it beat me down. Good game. All right. I can't type GG in this account. It's cool. We'll look for another one. So we got beat down by the Garganacle. Really good uh, terrestrializing there at the end. Ooh, they have a lot of points. And this is not really um, a Tinkaton matchup because they have a very fast team. This mod is better versus balance. So we'll lead off Iron Bundle here. See if we can get some uh, something going versus uh, Glamora lead. Taunt it, obviously. If they have Power Gem, they have Power Gem. I can't do anything about that. Yeah, they go for Stealth Rock. Perfect. So, I mean, I don't see a reason not to Hydro Pump. <laughs> well, I guess the reason would be you don't hit attacks, huh? So, it sucks because I don't break its Sash. Really, really whack. I mean, they opted to risk a Speed Tie. Is that your play? No, wait, they're not even a Speed Tie risk. I'm faster than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're getting special attack, you're not speed boosting. Also, we know now that that's only 30%, which is pretty crazy. I think I bring out Tinkaton here. As they protect. Gonna Gigaton hammer here. And do a million damage to something. Obviously, they get their Focus Sash. Yep. I don't have Rapid Spin on the team, which is unfortunate, but... Uh, T-Spike is going up. Earthquake, though, looks really, really, really strong. Hmm. Can I just Dragon Dance up in front of this? I feel like I can. They're not, they're not going to be able to touch me much, so I'm going to GD up. And I have Ice Spinner, which is all right here. They get up a second layer, but I can't stop that. But okay, I, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Second layer is whatever. It actually means that my offensive mods do better because they take less. Dragon Dance in front of this thing too. So that's data. That's ba. Uh, 60 defense. Let's terrestrialize here and just E-speed because it's a guarantee kill. Alright, I'm an Ice Spinner just in case they try and go in DD. Exactly. So we don't gotta deal with that. Perfect. Wasn't even a prediction. So we get rid of Indeedy and I even break the terrain, which is pretty crazy. And now I can just go for Ice Spinner, Ice Spinner, Ice Spinner and not really have to predict. Because I should be able to beat that with my Tinkaton at the end. Which Earthquake, just in case they go out into Dragapult on the extreme speed. 
I think I just go Tinkaton now and just click my attacks. Shadow Ball maybe come out. I either go Iron Bundle. Alright, we get to Taunt here, which is nice. So don't get a Calm Mind up. I'll just Hydro for the chip. Actually, let's not miss. Let's just get off. Alright, we get nothing. <laughs> Apologies. Gigaton Hammer! <laughs> Give me your Pokemon! <laughs> and then if they go Dragapult and try and DD up, I just go for Knock Off here. That did nothing! What? Oh, okay, cool. We learned. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Take it side. Oof, the homie giving us, stopping us from going one and two. But to be honest, nothing matters after that first game. That was the greatest game in the history of the world. Gonna be completely honest, to be honest, just saying. Um, need rocks up in this game. Only this guy, though, because whenever we see this Mon, we have to. We taunt this, unfortunately, and I'm probably gonna get Rock Blast. I didn't get Rock Blast, which is great. So I can flip turn now. It's 10,000% Focus Sash. They do get Toxic Spike up, which is really annoying, but... I can go Garchomp here and get up Rocks just for this, and then switch out into my Steel-type to block the, uh, the Debris. This guy kind of just walls this Mon, so... Earth power usually. What's the reason not to nasty plot immediately and just kill something with Shadow Ball? You better you better not be the bulky bulk upset, which a lot of people are running, because you will die. You will straight up die. Godengo is like, I feel like a staple on every type of team. The dude blocks everything. Status moves, which are which obviously uh, which keeps going towards default, which keeps going towards Leech Seed. D it's so it's so crazy. Obviously, because of it's good as gold, it blocks it blocks uh, Spore too, which is amazing. All right, so we get rid of Glamora there. Beautiful. Have rocks up for Cloyster. Have my Extreme Speed guy in the back. Obviously, the Palafin are gonna, is going to come out, but then I get a free Freeze Dry. Hmm. Got to be careful not to lose the King Gambit. Champal comes out. Dark move coming out. If I Terrastalize, make it rain. And I can't Terrastalize later, but that's fine. I think I just do that so I don't die. Yeah, I do that so I don't die. We kill this Mon. Get rid of its priority Ice Shard, which is really important too, because I have Double Dragon. Palafin comes out and can just kill me. Surprised they didn't want to try and kill me with this before. Uh, no switching, so I'm not going to bother switching. And everything took Stealth Rock, so this is important. I think we just go you and click flamethrower because I don't care if Palafin comes in I care more so if King Gambit comes in obviously we know King Gambit's getting stronger and stronger by the minute but I do have the Gigaton if it opts to Terrastalize so I have options and the Palafin is getting weaker and weaker by the minute too so I'm okay with that as well this Mon is annoying with its bulk up stuff I'm gonna go you and taunt that way they can't bulk up I'm very scared I'm fine with that. As long as I get my damage off. Please get some damage. Please actually land. 36%. That did nothing. Do I Dragon Dance in front of this? I think I do. I think I have to. So I only hit them once. But they crit me with Rage Fist, which really hurts. Because now I don't... Now I just get double KO'd there. This is really bulky, right? It's a super... It has to be. It has to be. Probably should have went this first, but I wanted to keep this for King Gambit. It's a giant threat. I can't switch out the Garchomp there. They should win the game just by Sucker Punch versus Jet Punch. Damn, man! This Rage Fist Mon... Why did I have to... Why did I have to crit my Dragonite? I only hit it once. I only hit it once. Maybe I didn't. No, I, I definitely, I definitely live too because it does double the damage. Good game. I can't type. Good game. Yeah. So I pretty positive because it did forty-eight, which means it does double like that. Yeah. So I would have lived too. Could have gotten off an easier hit and then killed it with earthquake from Garchomp, and then from there just Garchomp it up. But maybe I'm wrong. Uh, either way, some giant threats on this team. Poltergeist is incredible. I'm gonna leave Garchomp and just get up my Stealth Rock. 
Wow, I kind of don't want to get up Stealth Rock here, but I, I do for Poltergeist. As good as my Garchomp is, I would rather throw it and get up Stealth Rock so that way Poltergeist isn't Sash. Perfect. Literally better for me. Literally better for me. I'm just going Iron Bundle. I don't care. Yeah, get up your rocks and take this freeze dry. Even if you're Sash, whatever. Like as long as I, as long as I don't lose to this mod, I'm good. Godengo uh, Go comes out and they literally can't touch me, so I just go for Shadow Ball here. Because if I if I nasty ply, they just dragon tail me out, right? So get up Stealth Rock. Their own Godengo comes out. If I terastalize here, can I beat Espathra later? I mean, I don't like switching to Shadow Ball very well. Ah, Chiyu's fine. Chiyu gets free flamethrowers. That has to be specs. You don't do that much without being choice specs. So that's good to know, at least. Um, free Flame, I want to say. Because I have... I don't want to Dark Balls into Great Tusk. I'd rather Flame into Great Tusk. Exactly. This dude... Is gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. The thing about Dragonite. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Alright, so. The thing about Dragonite is that it's gonna come out. Huh? Does Dragonite have King Gambit's move or like last respects now? <laughs> Sorry about that, Chris. You had a Dragonite. Does it not have multi scale? They did not have multi-scale. It eats this for breakfast. But I had Garchomp I can go hard into, and then I can extreme speed, and then I had Goldengo on a balloon. So I had I had options versus Dragonite. Like I wasn't gonna lose to it. But I would probably be forced to terrestrialize, and then I was like, yo, this person has like nine Pokemon. What's going on? Like eight Pokemon. That's crazy. Fire team though. Fire team, fire team. Let's go ahead and lead off the iron bundle. Beautiful mom versus this team. Super cool squad on my opponent's part. I wonder if this is Scarf. I feel like it'd be Specs for Corviknight. This is a really cool team. The bundle's just good, though. I can taunt. Oh, thank you, Arcanine. I can't type, though, but I appreciate you. I just, I, I don't know. I recorded with CTC one day. I get on this account. And it's absolutely unable to be used. And now all my accounts are like this for a little bit. I can go talk to somebody about it, but I, I haven't just bothered. I just, I'm doing a marathon, so it's like I, I'm only on shutdown when I record, and then some fun games in between. Uh, this mod's annoying for me. I rather go Gigaton. Well, if the U-turn is worse for me, though, right? If they Draco, I go Tinkaton. If they if they Shadow Ball, it's, if they Draco, it's worse. The Terra Blast. The Terra Blast goes physical. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> well, I can go Flamethrower now freely because they're not resistant to it. But my god. Was that, was that choice banned? I just died. I'll take a ton. It wasn't amazing. It was a resistance to mouse hold, but it wasn't amazing in this game. Right? It would have knocked it among us, but that's about it. Holy crap. This reminds me of Dragonite in uh, National Dex when it got banned. Dragonite, Dragapult, and Dra National Dex when it got banned because it was uh, repeatedly um, using uh, Taras. It was using. Uh, wow, man, I'm mixing up everything. It's basically just winning. Yo, this is a problem, dude. It's probably banded, right? Can I win this game before Zone sweeps me? I don't even know what to go out to. I'll go Godengo, but if they go to move here, I'm screwed. Yeah, I think they're choiced. Shadow Ball anyway, though. Mouse Hold isn't going to do crap to me. There's a Salt Vest. They can't kill Garchomp in one hit, so I'm just going to go Garchomp anyway and just click Earthquake. Clearly, my opponent is choice banned on that Dragapult. Mm, Focus Blast won't kill because it's a Salt Vest, right? Uh, so, we'll go Garchomp here. Maybe it's crazy. Shoot, it works. But I, I need damage on Dragapult so I can win. And I need rocks up to beat Ditto and Dragapult as well. I'm going Garchomp. 
Even if they flash, like this is my play. Like I said, I need Stealth Rock up so I can beat Dragapult and so I can beat Mouse. Like Earthquake is very free versus their team. Earthquake is extremely free versus their team. That's a crazy Terrasse. Like Banded Dragapult with Terra Blast Ghost is so fire. They go Dragapult there. Great play, great play. I'm just going to Terra Ground. Yep. If you want to use a broken dragon, I'll use a broken dragon too. And the thing is, I beat every Pokemon on their team. And they do not. Good as gold, baby. Good as gold. Focus Blast here, just in case they try and go hard Mouse Hold. I don't really need a Shadow Ball, I think. Not like, what? Mouse Hold can't touch me. What am I talking about? <laughs> what, what am I predicting? What am I predicting? The world may never know. I'm not gonna risk focus blasts. Free earthquakes. This is these are these are terrestrialized earthquakes. I'm so happy that I can have my broken dragon be broken ground. <laughs> I feel like right back at you, right? I don't have a reason to, to do anything different. What do you do to me? I'm gonna make it rain on you. I hope you're okay with that. Do you have my con I have your consent? I got bit. I got bit, man. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Uh, slash data, mouse, hold. 75, 75. Hydro pump into extreme speed to knock it out. My whole family. Earthquake. I'm pretty sure Earthquake probably knocked him out looking at... Oh, this thing gets two shot. <laughs> Okay, good. We win. We win. We win for sure because they made that play. Because they can't kill me with their own guard chop and I weaken them in the next stream speed win. So we win. Nice. Look how much adamant Terra... This is why you run adamant on this guy. This is why you run the adamant. Oh, I'm sorry, my friend. You're taking 10 million and then you don't beat me with any mana in your team. Shoot. If they extreme speed here, it's even better for me. I mean, excuse me. If they outrage here, it's even better for me. Cause I just knock him out with extreme speed. Knock him out with e-speed. Dragonite was never dying. Amoongus comes out. I just ice spinner for the chip. Then I win the game by clicking earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. Cause you know they're not scarf. Nice. I love how the dragons both put in crazy work in this game. Good game, bro. Um, like I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cannot. Cannot say anything, but I love how the dragons put in some insane work. I can't. I still can't get over the first Tinkaton game. Like that—that's the matchup you want with Tinkaton, right? You want the fatter matchup because that's what Tinkaton beats. That's what it's good versus. In this one, it's it's decent, 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 decent. Hmm. Lead Iron Bundle, which is very good here. Tinkaton might be faster than their Sarah Ledge, depending on. Oh, it is, uh, depending on their E-Spirit, they're adamant, it's faster. So I can SD and knock them off. Always lead Iron Bundle here. Just Hydro, the core. For I hate this move so much. Hydro, the core of Knight. Gonna bring you out an SD up. How, how do you know? How do you know? How do you know what I'm doing? Okay. I'm getting played. Uh, if I hit Hydra's on Corviknight, I could taunt it the second time because I wouldn't die to the next move. So we'll see what happens from there. Okay, good. Got it. I want to keep you alive as a spore stop. I mean, I guess we'll just try and do this, right? Maybe they can't even touch me. Shoot, this might got, this guy might win. Oh, it's bulk up body press. It's good to know. It's bulk up body press. This makes me wish I hit Hydro even more. I'm gonna nasty fly just in case they go. Move. You can't touch me, so I'm not sure what you're doing here. Oh, bulk up body press. Wow. So if I hit it, I won fun for sure. Cool. Good to know. Anyway, we just click Dark Pulse now. 
What is showdown lagging so much for? Yeah, we click Dark Pulse. Yo! Man, Dark Pulse is a secondary effect. Let me teach you about it. Let me teach you about it real quick. I ain't gonna die. Me... That's a secondary effect. Critical hit. That's what you get. Great Tusk comes out. <laughs> Great Danger <laughs> comes out. Knock off, Earthquake. If I Terrastalize Psychic, that doesn't help me. But I can Terrastalize Fire later. I just gotta make sure I can beat Garchomp. Um... Body press, knock off. I'm just gonna DD up. And then go cheat you. Yep, forcing the bulk up. Gonna hit my flame on that great tusk coming in. Gone, perfect. Gonna flame this too. For the chip to break the thing. It could easily be normal, right? I mean, it's gonna do a million more. Yeah, I couldn't let them set up again. Okay. We go iron bundle and, and taunt. We taunt always. We go Tinkaton and SD. Dead. Get out of my sight. <sighs> Do we think they're adamant or timid, guys? Oh, a double. We Terra right here. Let's go, Terra Electric. Easy win, baby. Easy win. Let's go. And they don't even kill me. And Tinkaton gets the sweep at the end. Killing Amoongus, Corviknight. GG. I hope y'all enjoyed. Crazy, crazy Tinkaton game. It's definitely a good Pokemon. Like I said, it's good versus fat. It's really strong versus fat. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 400K. And that's it. Later.